Hi, it's Robin again with How to Fix Things. Um, if this gets stuck, this is really, really common. Um, it's stuck on the out or, or in, and oh, look, it's broken again. You don't need to buy another one. It's um, You can just spend 10 minutes fixing it. I'll show you how. But first, my tap dancing assistant, Ellie, is going to show me um, what I'm going to need. Can you please pass me the tools, honey? Uh, tool number one is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. That, that's all that you're going to need. Um, I mean, yours might be a bit different, but and a nail file, which you may not need, but I will, to file some metal. Um, a lubricant, such as olive oil, please, my tap dancing assistant. And somewhere to keep my screws organised so I don't lose them, because they're small screws and large screws. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, thank you very much. And they're quite easy to disassemble. Um, you might need to sort of take padding and things like that off. They're just sort of unscrewing everything. And the bottom mechanism, you'll probably have to give that a, a really good yank out there. But then the whole mechanism comes out and I'll show you what to do thereafter. So now you've got this bar out and I've uh, taken out the screws here and here as well so I can jiggle this out like that. Uh, revealing these uh, pushes because when this presses down these get pushed down which uh, sort of make these uh, little knobs go in and out and when they're in of course it can slide down and when they pop out they, they lock in these different positions but of course you know one of them is like permanently locked in so um, and I pulled this out because they're, they're stuck up um, sort of these holes like that and I yanked this one out it was very very hard to get out which meant it was catching so it wasn't free to slide and when I felt over it it was very obvious that um, it hadn't been finished properly hadn't been sanded or anything um, whoever whatever luggage company actually makes a different version of this or something actually works will make a fortune because this is such a common issue about the um, people throwing their bags away because they can't figure out how to fix this mechanism so I mean I've smoothed all that off and the other side and actually just put the tiniest bit of um, oil or whatever lubricant you want to use there and then you just where these there's holes there that they just slide all the way uh, up again but now they can move more freely you just swivel those around and pop it back in and you'll see um, as I'm putting it all back together again uh, how if you do it in reverse to pull it apart so now if I'm pressing this what's happening now is these are engaging see how they're sticking out there okay these two things are sticking out I press this in which um, pushes that rod down and makes them go in so now I can actually slide it um, you know and then as soon as I take my hand off that then they will they pop out so the next um, you know little hole will come to that they'll pop out and, and lock in that position so yeah, that's fixed that's okay now so now it's just um, putting it back together, you know, just sort of screwing all these things back in. Which I'll fast forward this because otherwise it'd be boring. Or you can sing to yourself, whatever you want to do. Don't tighten too much. Enough, but not too much, just in case you have to do it again. <laughs> Feed it in. Oh, wrong way. That way. Feed it back through. Okay. A little bit of bend, you know, to get those things under. There. One more test before we. Yeah, beautiful. I <laughs> don't want to put it all back together and it's stuffed. Now, in here, uh, this is what had me stuffed because there was a bit of plastic covering um, where the screw was that then enabled me to pull these out. So if you haven't obviously got a screw there, just peel back any plastic or anything because, yeah, that's um, there was one more screw and then that just yeah, shoves back in there. 
really honestly, you have a go. It's it's not that hard. When you put those in, if you oh, it's like, oh, great, it fits. But then up this end, <laughs> I'll peel back these, which I'm actually going to see what I'm doing and then take them off. Uh, up this end, you have to actually put these up this slot here. Um, but you kind of got to choose one or the other. So I think what I'm going to do is lock that in solid there, but as we're now an inch over being able to slot it in, and of course it can't bend that, I'm actually just gonna cut a piece out of the plastic and I'm gonna slide it in sideways. Actually, change my mind. If it's locked in down there, it can't be uh, pulled back up. Uh, hmm. Anyway, well, let's try. I've decided to actually cut this off instead, this one here, just halfway, half of it, <laughs> and see if that'll fit in better while locking these in. So, yeah, that should be all right. Ah, uh -huh, beautiful. Look at, uh, 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 a little bit of force doesn't hurt sometimes. There you go. Okay, so that's uh, that's locked in. That's nice, nice and tight. It's still got one of those little luggy bits to um, hold it in. And these have... Uh, slotted into exactly where they're supposed to be. So now I'll just put a screw back in there, which is um, crucial to hold that bit down. That's got to be done. And you can sink yourselves again. Okay. So um, I think I'll actually keep this exposed just so I can sort of keep check on what this uh, this little knobby bits are doing when I'm pulling it because it's still sticking sometimes. So, okay, engage and so mm, it's not it's not brilliant. Okay, so okay, so that's now fixed in that one. But okay, yeah, it's uh, actually a little bit stiff, um, but it is working. You know, at different increments there there. There, but it's just um, getting it all the way down. <laughs> Bit of force. Okay, yep. But I still have to give it a bit of a yank. But I mean, it is working. Da, 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 da. And we're off. All right. So, um, fixed end, hopefully, maybe a little bit more olive oil actually <laughs> um, on that mechanism. Uh, but good luck. Um, I mean, it's a great case. It's got a combination lock and everything. and. Yeah, if you want to save a few bucks, give, give it a go.